Hello everybody, my Chris Gamer here, so today I'll be doing a review of the WAC aircraft and just showcasing you guys all these ones right here, the WAC community pack, which is this contain a lot of aircrafts here, ranging from the Thunderbolt to all the way to the Air Creation, which looks like a very old type of uh, aircraft. This one though, I'm gonna just show you guys my favorite one. It's a pretty old pack. But it's still one of the best ones I've seen. And it's pretty hard to control these aircrafts. And Gary's mod especially... It's, it's not specialized in aircraft. It's specialized in just random items. Or having random objects and NPCs. I mean, now we have Spongebob in Gary's mod. Which I never would have guessed him. Would guess him uh, being in uh, Gary's mod. But he's, he's here already. And the Hulk and other many other random creatures. As for, as for vehicles, I think that um, these are one of the best. Kind of hard to find good vehicles. I know I know that there is one from uh, Star Trek and Star Wars. I can actually cover that another day. And this is just one of my favorite airplanes, although it's very hard to control it. I think I'm just not getting enough speed. I might have to go up all the way here. And I think this is probably the best area. See if I can go here. I'm just obsessed with the look of this airplane. Or the jets. Just have to be careful because there are a bunch of uh, invisible walls right there. And it's kind of hard to see where the end of the map is, but if you play this map long enough, you already know where it is. And it was right there. I was actually surprised. I was surprised it didn't destroy immediately. For the next one, let's try the Hornet. It's like a hybrid between a helicopter and a jet. And some of these, I think, are from different games, although I'm not quite sure where they're from. And helicopters are kind of harder to control in this, but they're definitely more stable. Right when I said more stable, they completely, completely falls over upside down. Let's try that again. So when you press up, it actually makes it go up, down, as usual, it goes down. Just have to be careful and steady. And this one actually has two miniguns, the same sound as the minigun from Team Fortress 2, which is kind of strange. And a scout, I'm sure he would not be able to fly it, even though I'm pretty much playing as a scout here. I would say this map is more meant for helicopters, just because of the amount of places you can land. But I have to be very careful, controlling. And this doesn't even have much ammo in the bottom, you can see. Controlling these is one of the hardest things in Gary's mod. Even though the game doesn't really have an objective, you make your own objective in here. Where should I land? Maybe on one of one of these guys here? I'm gonna be going into... Well, I'm going into the pit. That's nice. Oh, almost got, almost got there. Oh, that was kind of a bummer. And I just destroyed it. A small tap. Okay, it wasn't really small, but you know what I mean. It's Gary's mod. It can be either indestructible or very, very uh, fragile. So I'm trying this jet right now, and hopefully I can actually get it to work. Going upside down is one of the hardest things in this game. I'll actually be surprised. I'll be surprised if someone can actually go around upside down in Gary's mod while having a plane. So let's actually try another one here. I think starting from here is probably the best. Because you just have enough time to uh, 
you gain momentum. And this way, because I have the most room here. They can also take another player with you, but honestly, it's probably better to go alone. Like, how would you trust anyone online if you're going to be with them? They might just come and cause themselves into another area. Especially if you play on a multiplayer server. You never trust anyone. I'm having better control, but it's still very wobbly. I might have to turn the engine off just to have a better control. I am having better control when I turn the engine off. Usually that shouldn't be the case if you're in real life, if you actually fly. And I didn't, I actually died from it after the fact. That, that took quite a while. Where is the jet? It's still working, I didn't get it destroyed. I'm actually surprised it's still working. Let's try another one here. Um, this should be the... Let's just try one of the helicopters. And a normal one this time. I'm gonna try it over here. I mean, this area is probably better. And not to get too crazy, I'm gonna be trying the... Robinson. Looks like the typical... Helicopter you'll probably see it anywhere. Let's just see how long it takes for it to work. And I actually want to see... Uh, would this actually kill NPCs? Let's try putting... One of the aliens here. I actually want to see if it's... Gonna have a stabilized right here. Well, Alien is, or the Xenomorph here from Alien is pretty much immune to the uh, the blades of the helicopter. Going right through him. I thought it would do like pop damage or something like that. Like it should, be, should do at least some damage. Gotta let it go. Okay, where is it? I think I dropped it already. Oh, it's right here. It actually managed to go without me. I'm gonna go and get destroyed. I'm sure you have... There are NPCs that can fly their own airplanes. I, I think I've seen it before in multiple videos of which I've done already so it's going this way let's see if I can actually control it this time I would say it's easier to control than an airplane but it is still wobbly most of them are wobbly here although I think it it would be interesting seeing a bunch of people just fight in these aircrafts Surprised the helicopter did not explode yet. I did not die from the fall. How did I not die yet? And the helicopter, this is probably one of the most durable helicopters. I'm surprised it's still going. This is one of the most durable ones. I had to smash it down completely to destroy it. Take note if you're playing Gary's mod and you like helicopters, probably choose this one. It took way too many hits. It managed to fall all the way there and nothing happened to it. I didn't even die. One health. And I don't even have God mod to prove it. Like, I'm not even sure how I got to one health exactly. For the next that, or in last one, I'm going to be choosing a random one here. There are many of them here. There's also... The regular ones, the first ones here. And some of these ones. 
But for the last one, I'm going to be doing... Let's see if I have anything cool here. Let's try the Hornet. And the mini guns, okay. Even though I might have done it before. This one is one of the coolest ones that actually have weapons. And I'm going to be heading right into that. Gotta be very careful. You can either crash into, into anything here if you don't know how to fly a helicopter. Just gotta be careful though every time you control them. And I crashed into that that one. Take a note, you would probably not want me to be the uh, the pilot. For a bonus one, maybe I'll just do one more because that was way too short. Let's try this one. This is a pretty big one. And it's stuck to the ground. Oh, there we go. Probably one of the biggest helicopters you can have. See how it functions here. This one is far easier to actually use. I don't feel like I'm wobbling as much. But that was kind of anticlimactic of the fall. And there is a lot of space here. Let's try it again and see how long it takes to make it fly. So yeah, it is easier to control than other helicopters. But still pretty hard. Let's just try landing over there at the brown small area where the acidic water is. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to get there. And I'm not stopping. Sometimes I don't even get why this even happens, but some of them do spawn underground. Maybe the way I just put them. But that'll be the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more vi videos like these. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!